Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about a new series that I'm going to be creating, and it's um, not browser automation studio related. This is, uh, as I say, a new subject matter. I'm going to be teaching how to use the scripting language called AutoIt. Okay, and before you guys on my channel all run away, hear me out, hear me out. I know that most of you that are already subscribed or that watch the videos or on the Discord channel, etc., etc., are watching um, videos on how to use um, stuff like Browser Automation Studio, Xeno Poster, and all this kind of good stuff. But I really, really want you to give this a try. Okay, this is the next step. Um, AutoIt is a uh, freeware, basic like scripting language that's so, so easy to pick up. And the reason why I want to teach this is because one, if you're already using stuff like Browser Automation Studio, a lot of the concepts will really, really be um, cleared up or they'll be easy to transfer over to here. Number two, you can run AutoIt scripts from BAS, from Browser Automation Studio. So they can kind of combine. Now, some of the benefits of using AutoIt is you can use your own browser, the browser that's on your computer, Lots of you will find with some websites when using Browser Automation Studio and all these platforms that the sites know that you're using um, not a real browser. Um, uh, there's quite a few. I don't want to name some right now on YouTube, but uh, lots of you have been running into trouble. I'm not taken away from Browser Automation Studio at all. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, and it's a great combination, this auto whip and Browser Automation Studio. Now, some of the benefits with AutoIt, like I said, you can use your real browser. It's really quick, um, like Bass, to produce uh, great scripts that can do anything. With AutoIt, you can not only work with the browser, but you can work with items that are on your desktop. You can auto Windows. So I'm going to show you a really quick example in a minute. This is just a really quick introduction. Uh, you can open programs like Notepad. Uh, you can do anything, uh, you can automate any task on your desktop as well as the browser. Okay, so it just opens up possibilities. You can create GUIs, graphical user interfaces, and as I've mentioned quite a few times, it's very, very easy to pick up. Now, I want this to be quite a short video, um, but I'm just going to show you. You basically, you can download the auto whip. Uh, sorry, you can download the program or it's not it's um It's basically you're downloading the editor. Okay, and a program that I'll show you in a second Okay, this will be all explained in the uh, next video. This is just a little taste of video So once you've got it down, I just want to show you how, how easy it is to, to use now for example I just written this a second ago so in uh, as standard, you can don't worry, you can work with Google Chrome, you can work with all the browsers, but packed in with AutoIt is uh, Internet Explorer. I know it's an old browser, but bear with me, this is the same for any browser. So include IE, okay, I'll explain that when I do the lessons, okay, and then we're just creating a, a browser in, instance, telling it to go to Google, sleep for three seconds, and then send I love to code. That is all you need to open a browser and let, let me just run this. Let me just run it. Okay, so it goes to Internet Explorer in this case. I'm going to wait three seconds and type I. Well, missed out the L. I, I made it go a bit too quick. But you get the idea. Then you could uh, make it press enter and that would be a search. So, as I said, I know a lot of you are coming from using uh, kits like Browser Automation Studio. So, I don't want you to think that coding has to be difficult you can do everything anything you can think of and it's super super quick okay there's no overheads there's no bulkiness like you get with browser automation studio and all that good stuff uh, let's just go on to another example I made uh, this is simply takes it just makes a an equivalent with bass this makes a list okay I'm gonna teach you all this in the video series this is just a taster just to show you how easy it is then it's going to read a file, this file, and it's going to put it into this list, okay? Then it's going to sort, 
the name, the list again, alphabetically, and then it's going to display the list for us. That's all you need to write. Okay, let's see that go. There you go. And this is a name, a, a list on my computer. And there you go, and they're all alphabetical. Okay, uh, you can work with, uh, like I said, stuff that's on your desktop. So this, um, this simply uh, opens a notepad. Okay, so all you need to do to run a program is put run. So this, the scripting language is very easy to pick up. Uh, it's a uh, very high level, meaning that it's very close to the English language. Okay, it's close to the programming language can be. So run notepad.exe, and then it's going to wait, and then it's going to send, I love to code again, and then it's going to uh, sleep again. So you can see this is really close to English, really easy commands. There you go. It's open notepad. Did you see how quick that is? It, in one second, it's open notepad, put I love to code. And I was just finishing off this script, actually. You can obviously make it click save or not save. So you can automate things on Windows, too, that can be really powerful. Uh, this can do all the good stuff. It can work with APIs. You can do uh, get requests. You can anything. It's really, really um, powerful. Um, so you're, you might be thinking, again, this only applies to people that are coming from using Browser Automation Studio and that, why would I use this? Um, I've gone over some of the key concepts, but it, there's no overheads with this. There's not bulky, programs are really tiny, it's really, really quick, and it's a good way to go from using something like Browser Automation Studio where you can't see what's going on under the hood to a kind of intermediate. This is kind of like a very easy scripting language to pick up. Then you could go on to something uh, a bit more difficult but this is a great script and language to pick up um you can work with google another thing you can do don't let this bit scare this is all like boilerplate stuff but you can create guis like this really easy okay it's just endless what you can do um, another thing that this is really really good for is game uh, cheats and development uh, to automate games um if i just run auto it this you get with Auto it. Auto it, what you're downloading is uh, the actual uh, IDE, which is where you write the scripts, and just this little program. It's not like Browser Automation Studio with all the tons and tons of things. It's just this. So what you can do with this is you grab the tool finder. This is absolutely amazing. You can grab it, and you'll see, look, the position is changing, what the class is. Okay. Now, this can be used to find... Uh, colors uh, exact colors uh, mouse positions so um, this is awesome if you're if you're into gaming for instance you can make bots that um, do anything uh, people use this to make like runescape bots uh, that do complete quests any you can automate games basically because you can um, find enemies and stuff you can find things by the color on the screen okay the exact match color hidden text that there's just anything it's endless there you go color exact match so you, you could for instance if there's a particular bad guy on the screen i don't know a monster an enemy you could uh, automate the process of the keyboard and so i can kill the monster wait for a color that's the color of the gold and then pick up the gold i'm going to get into all this it's going to be i'm going to do a massive massive series on this okay guys i'm going to wrap it up there because um I wanted this to, to be quite a short video and I've gone on and on about the benefits. I will go over one more benefit. Uh, the the code, uh, sorry, the documentation for AutoWit is amazing. It's really simple, straightforward. Um, the site has a lot of examples and tutorials, tutorials as well to get you started. Okay, it's, um, I should mention as well, it's absolutely free. There is no uh, There is no premium version or anything like that. Um, just off the front page, um, he says, I was going to read, I was going to read the text. It's a freeware basic like script and language designed for automatic mating the Windows GUI and general script and language, blah, blah, blah. Basically anything to do with creating bots, which I'm going to teach. That's the stuff that I will be teaching you. Um, and how to also automate games. That's what I'm going to be teaching as well. It can be used for anything, basically. It's really good. So I'm going to put the link in the description.
get the IDE downloaded on your computer. I will be going over how to do that in the next video if you're not quite sure, so don't worry. But if you're, you know, you know a little bit um, and you're able to download stuff, then go over there, get it downloaded on your computer. It will come with the side uh, script editor. That's where we make our our bots. Okay, and it will also come with the thing that I just showed you, the auto window info, which we'll be using a lot. We're going to have a lot of fun doing this, guys. Check out the links in the description. There's going to be a free uh, mini course for auto it. Uh, the link to download auto it will be in the description. Uh, all the good stuff. So check out the description for all the links that you need. Okay, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.